What's good gamers, it's Roll Easy, and I'm back today with the after patch of the recent glitch that just, it, it got mostly hotfix I would say, kind of a patch. Basically what happens now is when you open up your internet and you press reverse, even if you get the timing perfect, you'll always spawn outside with your car. So you don't end up on foot, the car doesn't end up under the MOC, nothing like that. Now I just want to show you in this garage, I have two Fagios in here, right there at the slots 1 and 2, and everything else are Sultan RS's. Alright? You're going to need the same stuff, the MOC with the personal vehicle storage, the Sultan RS to dupe with the short lip spoiler, it will help you. Uh, for this method, you're going to need custom plates, and I'm doing this method because the glitch is a bit harder to hit now. The timing is a bit more precise, so it's a lot easier just to hit the glitch one time and then to be able to just keep duplicating over and over again. You're going to want some Fagios or RH8s and, and uh, some garages. No Fagios in your MC Clubhouse if you're doing this method. Invite only session and make sure your MOC is on a flat surface. If you enjoy me bringing you these after patches, after hot fix glitches, man, make sure to press that blue thumbs up. Subscribe to me if you're new and turn on post notifications. Now I'm going to show you a few fails right here because a lot of people were asking, well, what happens when your car spawns under the MOC? What happens when your car disappears? What happens when this happens? You know, so I wanted to just go over everything and this is going to be a failed attempt right here once we get into the MOC. Now I'm going to slow it down to show you guys exactly what you need to do uh, in this new method. Now, although this is a fail, this is what you're going to be doing. So get in the car, wait for the engine to start, open up your dashboard and hit join game on one of your friends. Now, you're going to wait to get the session details, and right when you see the session details at the bottom right, you're going to just flick reverse and back out. Like, flick reverse and spam B. So you see right there? I flicked reverse and I spam B to spam that alert to get out of that. Now, you should end up outside without the car, the same as the old result. Okay, on foot with no car. Now, in this method, I'm going to spawn on foot, but as you can see on the map, I actually opened it up right here. Look at the bottom right. My car is all the way at the docks. You don't want that. Open up your motorcycle menu. If you can't return vehicle to storage yet, just call up any motorcycle like you saw I just did right there. I call up a bike and I'm going to run close to it so I can return to storage. And that's all you got to do. The car will be back in your MOC. Now, I'm going to show you another failed attempt. So I'm going to go ahead, get in the car and I'm going to open up my dashboard right now. And I'm going to hit join game on one of my friends that's playing GTA. Now I'm going to wait for the session details and then simply flick reverse and spam B. So you see that session details, flick reverse, spam B. You want to just spam out of that alert. It's that'd be spam circle on uh, on PlayStation and flick left or L2. Sorry. Yeah. L2 on PlayStation. So this is the result you wanted. I, I spawned out there. No car at the docks, no car under the map, nothing like that. But check it out. I spawned in here and the car is just there. You know, at this point, I didn't even think it was working, honestly. And I was just like, wow, it's not going crazy. Nothing like that. So this is another thing that can happen. Your car will just spawn there with an open door. That means it didn't work at all either. Just get in the car. I'd recommend driving the, the car out and then back in to try again. Sometimes it does help. Like I said, the short lip spoiler will help you as well. It's just more consistent for some reason. Now, we're going to show you. This is, uh, this is a fail, but this is because I was actually too late to drive out, all right? Because this is the new method where you need to get the session details. And the session details might come up really quick, and you won't even get a chance to drive out. So I'm joining a friend right now. I get the session details coming up very soon, and I, I just wasn't quick enough to press left trigger. So you see that? I backed out, but I wasn't quick enough to drive out. Here's the successful attempt, okay? I'm, at, I'm even going to put it in slow motion. So I'm going to my dashboard right now. I'm spamming on join game. And then right when you see session details, flick that left trigger and spam the hell out of B. All right? There are session details. I flick left trigger and spam B. Now, here it is. This is what you want to see. You want to spawn outside without the car and on foot. Okay, so here we go. I'm outside. No cars at the docks. No cars crazy. No nothing like that. So I go back inside. And uh, at first I was like, whoa, 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 you know, let's see. But check this out. The door is open and there's another car inside of it. I simply just touch the side of the car and look at that. The glitch is still working, guys. This method does work. It just requires timing. It's up to you whether you want to keep doing this over and over again. I'm exiting the trailer because I'm going to do the method that you need custom plates for because I'm not trying to hit this glitch over and over and over again. Now, if you are really strapped for money, you're going to have to suck it up and hit the join game and get glitched out like that every time you want a different car. I'll leave that video in the description. Remember, the whole process is still the same. 
Uh, it, it says hotfix on the title, but the entire process is still the same. The only difference is how we're getting glitched out. Instead of opening up the phone and flicking left trigger, we're joining game, waiting for the session details, and then flicking left trigger and spamming B to get out of that uh, message. And then you'll spawn outside the same way, and from there on, the whole glitch is the same. But in this method, I'm going to show you the easiest way and the quickest way to make the money. So I got my Fagio, I called it out, that came from my garage right there at Eclipse Tower. And I'm gonna go ahead and renovate bay two and put in the weapon and vehicle workshop. It's gonna cost me 955 grand. So I'm just gonna accept that, press buy. And now that we have that happening, I'm gonna leave the Fagio right there and I'm gonna go ahead and enter the MOC once it permits me to. There we go, there's the blue circle. And since we had the car stacked on top of there and we had two, you know, a duplicate and the original, once you renovate, you should end up with the glitched car. Now this time I ended up with no door and everything, so but that's okay. Just press right D-pad now, repair vehicle, and go ahead and go to plates. And I recommend you have a few plates to be able to do this. Go ahead and change the color and change the plate itself and hit exit vehicle. Don't exit the workshop, you will stop the glitch. You'll ruin the glitch and then you'll have to get re-glitched out again. So once you hit exit vehicle, you'll still have your Fagio outside. But I'm going to show you guys that once you're outside, you indeed still have the, uh, you know, go ahead. And, I'm going to call my mechanic and I'm going to show you guys the Eclipse Tower. Now, remember, I had two Fagios, including that one that was right there. So it's two in total, eight Sultans. Look at that. That one Fagio is already registered as a Sultan RS. The glitch is still working. So now I'm just going to return vehicle to storage to do the quickest way. You call up another Fagio, the only other Fagio I have, which is in that garage. I'm just pointing to it right there in case some of you guys can't really see it. That's the one. So now, now that you've done that, you can also use RH8s. You know, you'd have to go and run and get your RH8 or call your mechanic every five minutes to go pick up an RH8. But like I said, the Fagios are much, much quicker, much easier. And yeah, man, this glitch is just, it's tougher to hit. I'm not going to lie. So we're going to go in here. We're going to do the same thing. We're just going to go ahead and press right D-pad to enter or to modify the vehicle go to plates and then we're going to go to a color and pick another plate that you want to put on there exit vehicle do not exit mobile operations center once again go outside on foot once you go outside your fagio or rh8 depending on what you're using will still be sitting out there now it's already been registered as a dupe as you can see right here i'm going to go ahead and return vehicle to storage that fagio is back or should i say sultan rs because it is duped already and here's the proof calling my mechanic i'm going to show you eclipse towers right now go down to the third slot and there you go all sultan rs's both fagios are registered as sultans so guys once again this is the glitch i recommend if you don't have custom plates i know you're gonna have to suck it up and you're gonna have to do the uh the other method i won't post a video on it because it's i already have a video you know down there i'll leave it in the description all once again all the methods or all the steps are the same after you get glitched out the only difference is getting glitched out before we were using the phone and uh you know pressing up on the d-pad and flicking left trigger now you do have to go to your dashboard and you have to join a friend once you see session details flick left trigger and start spamming b uh, i've had a lot of success doing it as quick as possible sometimes i've waited and i've tried to you know to, sp to press b and to exit out of the alert a little bit later and you might be too late sometimes so i really suggest just spamming the hell out of it and doing it as quick as possible all right so if you guys have any other questions please let me know down in the comment section once again, important videos will be linked down in the description and after the video as, uh, you know, those cards so that you can just click on them and it'll lead, it'll lead you straight to the other video. Hopefully Rockstar doesn't touch this one again today and we can have it for another day, but who knows? I just wanted to get this video out there as quick as possible, okay? Uh, so yeah, that's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to like the video by hitting a blue thumbs up. Subscribe to me if you're new by pressing that red button and turn on post notifications so you can be notified the instant I come out with the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. That's all I got for you right now. Peace out, y'all.